Hello again. We're going to do a quick video of uh, how to replace the thermal paste of this uh, Asus laptop. The model is uh, FX506H. I think I have a, a video on the exact same laptop uh, probably a year ago, but since I know the customer, probably the laptop will be quite dirty inside. So let's start we're gonna remove the screws of course the laptop is in very bad condition it's got broken plastic key is missing and it doesn't show picture every time when you press the button but Either way, we have to replace the paste. So, I'll try to do it as quickly as possible. Now we have to separate the plastic. We're gonna do this on uh, this side. It's it's stuck, I guess, with. Probably uh, liquid damage or something. Now let's see, like I said, I don't know can the camera focus, but this is really, really nasty. Now the first thing of course, we have to disconnect the battery in order to work safe. Now we have to remove the screws on the on the cooler and the fan. We're gonna lift everything and we have to clean it. Now before lifting the cooler, we'll disconnect the fans. I'll try not to disconnect the display cable. Now let's lift the cooler first. Just try to move it a little bit left to right. And gently lift it. like this now this is what is inside the fan I don't know can the camera focus yeah it's really really full of dust let's see the other one Mm 
Yeah, it's a little bit cleaner. Now let's let's clean the old paste. We're gonna tie the hinges because most of the screws are loose. I am using a dry Q-tip. It cleans the old paste really good and it doesn't make a big mess around. The GPU paste is dry. We're going to use some alcohol. I usually don't replace the the thermal puree on the on the VRMs and the memory. Some people ask, but I usually don't replace it, uh, replace it if it's in a good condition. I leave it like this. Now let's clean the old paste here on the cooler. Now I'm gonna stop the video for uh, for a second just to clean the fans with the vacuum cleaner and we'll be right back. Now I did clean the fans. They're looking way better than before. Connect, uh, they're rotating freely. Uh, the second fan wasn't good, uh, rotating at all, at all because there was some plastic stuck in it. Uh, I cleaned it also. Now the only thing we gotta do is just put the new paste and put everything back. Now this may look like a dodgy thermal replacement, but believe me, this laptop looks really, really bad. I don't know, can you see it on the camera, but in real, it's in a very, very bad condition. Everything is dirty, probably there was a lot of smoking around it, a lot of broken plastics. So not a lot we can do here now let's put back the fans I'm gonna put the screws first. We're gonna leave the third screw because we have to put the cooler first so and now we have to put the cooler 
move it a little bit left to right in order for the paste to get even and now the boring part Now I have to clean a little bit the back cover. Now make sure that you connect the fans and everything is um, on place. Now the only thing we gotta do is just put back the battery and put the back cover. Before I open each laptop, I powered it on and tested, so I'm sure it is working before I do anything. Um, this one, I have to power it on four times in order to get a picture, so we'll see right now. Everything is closed properly. Now let's let's see. Like I told you, the laptop is very dirty, missing keys. No, they are not missing, but they are scratched. Let's see. Will we get a picture this time? We did reset the BIOS. So we have to wait a little bit. clean it on the outside yeah like I told you no picture
second try. Yeah, we do have a picture. Uh, now the only thing I gotta do is clean the laptop a little bit because it's really nasty. And I'm gonna call the customer to come and pick it up. Basically, that's the whole thing. Hope you like the video. Bye bye for now.